everyone, welcome to December Empties. I used up this Caress Passionate Spell. Absolutely love this. It's Passionate Fruit and Fiery Orange Rose. It has the most beautiful scent. It's not too clingy where it stays on you for super long afterwards and interferes with your perfume, but it's just so rich. It is not moisturizing, so it's not the best one for winter, but I love it. I have another one in my backup stash, but I'm gonna use something that's more moisturizing next. But this is a definite favorite. The Giovanni Brazilian Keratin and Argon Oil Ultra Sleek Shampoo. This was just okay. It really wasn't moisturizing enough for my dry hair. And this cap leaks no matter how much I tried to shut it it doesn't shut properly and of course it's made to stand up so I would find it running down the sides of my shower I did not like this at all and will not repurchase shower gloves I get these at uh, the dollar store and I know these are really hard to find there so if you find them apparently they can be put through the washing machine um, I just throw mine away about every month or so the other thing is I have started using these uh, one in the shower and one that I keep in my nightly basket for washing my makeup off Wayne Goss did a video on how you can use he sponsored some specific product and I'm sure it was fairly expensive but these are a dollar and everybody in the comments was saying how they use abrasive washcloths or whatever and that made me think to put one of these in my nightly basket and use it on my face this is great for when I travel I love this it really does a great job and you can control how because it's on your hand how firm or how lightly you wash off your makeup my Wilkinson's razor blades I pay pennies for these and they're so sharp I absolutely love these I just get them in a, a pack at Walmart the Tresemme number no. four I love this hairspray I've already repurchased this is something I continually repurchase it is the final thing I put on my hair and it makes it kind of crispy but I mean it still moves around a lot so it's not like helmet head but it holds my style all day and the closer you hold it to your head obviously the more hold you'll get but I love this Tresemme hairspray the motions foaming hair lotion this was okay I used it up I'm not thrilled with it a girlfriend uses it for when she wants her hair straight and she wraps her hair um, but my hair isn't curly at all and she thought this might help me for holding my style it really wasn't anything wonderful this April hair mousse I don't remember who recommended it but I'm sorry I really didn't like it it smelled very very alcoholy so I haven't even used all of it I'm gonna throw it away for lightening my hair I did my video number four is my constant and then I play mad chemist with the other ones and this time I was mixing in some of 61 and another one if I remember I'll put it on here um, so I did always half of the four and then a quarter or half of some other ones that I mix in. This sample of the 12 benefits um, that you put in for your hair after you shampoo, it was just okay. Nothing I would recommend or repurchase. My St. Ives Timeless Skin Moisturizer. I love this. It's elasticity and you know, kind of goopy. You can see it almost stretching in between your fingers with the consistency of this, with the collagen in there. I love it. It's a Dr. Oz recommendation. It's not really heavy and really thick, so it's better for the summer. Um, if I need it in the winter, I could put in a drop or two of argon oil or rose oil. But uh, right now I'm using up other things. This Equate Strikingly Unique. Um, why is it that the products you don't really care for seem to last forever? <laughs> this did not do anything for me. Someone said that it isn't meant as a moisturizer, that it's meant as a carrier lotion. I couldn't get it to work for me no matter how I used it. It was just okay. Nothing I would ever recommend or repurchase. My Vitamin E Skin Oil. This was okay. I like it a lot, but I buy all my uh, oils and mix them myself now from Gardens of Wisdom, so I won't be repurchasing this. I used up these gums, uh, dental picks. You put them in between each of your teeth and 
it cleans them, it keeps your gums really healthy. When you first start using them, you'll probably have puffy gums and they may even bleed. After you keep using them, your gums will get extremely healthy and your dentist will love you. From the dollar store, I get the tray and the whitening gel all in one kit for a dollar. So I used up one of the whitening kits. Uh, I have some other whitening kits that I bought at the store for probably six or seven dollars that I'll be using with that tray until I've used it up and then I will repurchase those. So. Thyroid medication, if you haven't been tested, go to your doctor and get your T3s and T4s tested. Once you're on it, life is beautiful. <laughs> if you're not on it, it can have a lot of negative side effects and I did a whole video on it. Contact lenses, I get mine at Sam's Club. The optometrist there is great and even if you go to your own optometrist, get the prescription and go to Sam's or Cotisco because they are a lot cheaper than getting them filled at Sam's Club. I'm not sure how it compares to online. I got this in my Walmart box, a Secret Clinical Strength Clear Gel. I was excited about it because clear and this month went to a Christmas party wearing a black dress. I thought it'd be wonderful. It goes on very sticky. It doesn't dry. I felt wet. I actually turned around, went back, wiped it off and went back to my Sure, which I've gone through. Absolutely love this. It keeps me dry. Mark uses the same thing. Same. Another personal item with the Giardelli hot chocolate. I buy these at Ross for like $5. I've really been loving these. It's not really cold by most people's standards here during the daytime we're about 50s or 60s but at night believe it or not we get down into the 30s or 40s and it just feels really cozy to have a nice glass of hot chocolate. I went through a wet and wild gel eyeliner. I love this it was really nice but it's dried up. It's my own fault for having it open too long. Doesn't owe me anything and I love it. And I would probably not repurchase though because I like the Essence or the Makeup Geek gel eyeliners better. I have two of the Avon Super Shock mascaras. One I used up, the other one dried up. I went for this one first and it was already dry. So then I tossed it and got the second one. This, my L'Oreal telescopic mascara. Love this. This is my holy grail mascara. When I travel, it's the only thing I take. When I'm at home, I put on this as my first coat. A Jordana Fabu liner. This is nice. I wouldn't repurchase it. I like the physician's formula much better, but still it was okay and I used it up and it's now dried up. A lash grip for my eyelashes. I prefer the duo, but this came with it, so I used it up and it was okay. And finally, this lipstick number 15 and I can't read who it's by without my glasses but if I find out I will list it up here. So that was my empties. I hope you picked up a tip or two. Thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it. I hope you have a fabulous day and we'll talk to you next time.